Welcome to this tutorial about an iPhone app called I Said What. It's a high quality audio recording app and it also features a very capable audio editing uh, component as well, which I will discuss in a subsequent tutorial video. Uh, at the moment, I'm just gonna focus on the recording. Um, first thing you should do before you do any type of audio recording with your phone is to make sure that your phone is on airplane mode. Why? Because otherwise you might get calls or messages that interfere with the operation of the app and also might interfere with your audio recording. So first thing, turn on airplane mode, very important. Now that you've done that, uh, it's, this app is super simple. In the top right hand corner, you should see a red button. Click on that and you get a new recording screen. And then all you have to do is click on the now very big red button and away we go, we're recording audio. What we're seeing right now is a waveform representation of the audio. Uh, the only audio that is happening in this space right now is my voice. And so that's why the waveform is going up and down uh, depending on what I, how loud I speak and when I speak. I'm actually using an external microphone plugged into the phone. So I've got this external microphone adapter called an iRig Pre. And from there, I have an actual microphone plugged in. So I'm gonna move this microphone right under my mouth now. So you can really see, see how the waveform is getting quite large there. Uh, that's because at the moment, the microphone is right underneath my mouth. And so the volume of the uh, audio is a lot louder. We need to be careful with this uh, graphic representation because what we don't want is for the sound to ever be so loud that we're distorting our voice. Uh, once you distort sound, you can't get it back. Um, I'll give you a demonstration of what distorted sound will look like on this app. And the way you do that is you can adjust, um, just put the microphone down. You can adjust this button here, which is the microphone gain monitor. So if I raise that right up, it means that I'm increasing the volume the gain of my input of the microphone. And now if I put it under my mouth, you're gonna see that instead of getting a nice representation of waves, we're just getting basic uh, dense sound and it's all crunched. And I guarantee you that if we listen back to this, it would be almost unlistenable. So if your uh, graphic representation of this app is ever doing something like this, as in you're just filling up the entire screen with the waveform, then you need to go into that microphone gain and pull it right down until you get something that looks a little more like this. So you never want those waveforms to be crunched. Right. Once you've finished, you just press stop and then press next. You can give your recording a name. Uh, for instance, I'll just call this test. Click next. And then you're given the editing screen. Now the editor in this app is fantastic, but I'm going to cover that in a different tutorial. So for the moment, I'm just gonna click the back button up here, which will take us to a list of all the recordings. And as you see, there's test. If I click on it and then press play, I can listen back to what I just recorded. Now, that there is the full uh, two minute recording of what I just did. Um, so let's say I want to take that uh, master recording and say edit it on my computer uh, using a computer program. Then to get it off the phone onto your computer, there's a few different options. You press that uh, button here and it gives you ways to transfer it. Uh, email is fine so long as the file size isn't too big, but if you have recorded something that's quite lengthy, the next best option is to use Wi-Fi network. If you click on that, ah, well I'm offline, so I have to turn on airplane mode. Okay. Okay, so I'm back online. As you can see that I'm connected to a Wi-Fi network, which is very important when you're using the Wi-Fi network to download. And then you're going to be given a web address, just a whole bunch of numbers. But if you type that web address into a computer, it's going to download the file that you just recorded as a .wav, a .wav file, uh, which is a high quality file that then you can edit on your computer.
And I will show you how to do this in one second. OK, so what I have just done is I have typed in the website address that the app gave me uh, in order to download my uh, audio file using uh, Wi-Fi network. So once you've typed in that number correctly, you just press Enter, and it will automatically download the .wav file. Um, you can then do whatever you want with it, open it, edit it in another program, etc. Now, the final thing that you need to be aware of when you're using your smartphone to record audio is how to hold it correctly. Obviously, if you're using an external microphone like I am, you don't want to hold the microphone too close to the mouth because uh, it will be too close and you'll get that distortion or peaking that we saw in the graph waveform on the app. Um, so hold the microphone a bit further down, not too far away either, but just about there is correct. Now, if you're not using a microphone, but just using the microphone that comes standard on the phone, be aware that the best microphone and the one that is going to be used in the app is on the base of the phone, not on the top. It makes sense because you use your phone like this and we speak into the microphone down the bottom. So microphone's at the base, which means that doing an interview, you flip your phone around upside down and hold it underneath the interviewee's mouth like so. Again. Don't hold it too close because you'll get that peaking, but down about there is about right.